For over 50 years, Maurice Sendak's Where the Wild Things Are has delighted and captivated readers both young and old. One of the exhibit galleries within the Bremen Museum in Atlanta, Georgia, is the Arbiser Family Theater. Told through the artist's own words, this exhibition celebrates Sendak's life and work by showcasing his most famous pieces through preliminary sketches, finished artwork, and interactive displays. Upon visiting, adults and children alike find themselves plunging headlong into a giant-sized bowl of chicken soup while classical music soothes their aural senses. Or one may find pleasure in being captain of the ship and sailing away from all the cares and woes of life. It's a liberating and entertaining time when visiting the serene place where Sendak's books bring to life endless possibility and carefree fun and laughter. New sections of the exhibition have been developed through partnerships with both the Atlanta Speech School's Rawlings Center for Language and Literacy and the Georgia Art Therapy Association. I traveled to Atlanta to tour the Bream Museum with its executive director, Aaron Berger. There you go. So, um, so like I said, we, we you know, our, our, our focus here is to connect people to Jewish arts, culture, and history. So uh, Maurice Sendak, who wrote Where the Wild Things Are, and so many other books, and illustrated so many other books that are just a joy. This exhibition space is great fun for me. One of the things that he did with chicken soup and rice so we have a big bowl that is full of um, rice, carrots, and, um, and if you dig deep enough, actually, yes, there are chickens. <laughs> There's a lot of fun. We've had, um, uh, we had the, just recently, the author of the book Thief, who was here, um, uh, and Marcus Susak, and Marcus actually had to slide down the slide, so um, it was uh, it was a moment for him to be able to, be able to come through here. So from one young adult author to another, I think that was the way he was paying homage. What's great about this exhibition is it certainly appeals to young kids at this kind of K through second grade age, but we've really focused also on adults and looking at how to engage with your child and how to focus on reading literacy, how to focus on vocabulary vocabulary, increasing your child's vocabulary. So it's really as much of a teaching tool for parents as it is as a play space for kids, which is great fun. This section I think is also really great. Um, Brunyabar is a children's opera. Um, it was actually written and produced to raise and stop. So, as we talked about that concentration camp of composers and artists, well, they created this play called Rundibar, and it was all about taking down this kind of tyrant. And it was performed many, many times in Theresienstadt. And it was even performed for the SS Guard. They just didn't really know that the story was necessarily about them. So Maurice Sendak actually staged, he did all the set design and stage work for Brundibar. And one of our goals is to work with the Atlanta Opera to put together a stage production of Brundibar here in Atlanta. I think it would be incredible. So is this a mural? This is a mural, actually. And if we approach it, um, what I love is that the mural itself is uh, an image of um, Maurice Sendak but it is made completely up of the titles of books that he either wrote or illustrated. And uh, this was done by our director of marketing, David Chendowich, um, as a wonderful kind of addition to, to the exhibition since, uh, since we're showing it now that he's passed. But it's a, it's a portrait of an artist. He wrote so many books. He did. He wrote and, and illustrated. So he really did start off as an illustrator. And what the exhibition kind of delves into a little bit is the different styles of how he worked as an artist. Mm -hmm. So here's The Night Kitchen, which as a child was one of my favorite books. And the cartoon style that he used when he was drawing these big chefs that are kind of bumbling about in the kitchen. You know, again, cartoon style I think is the best way to describe it, or comic book style. Mm -hmm. But then you compare it to 
this, which is outside over there, same artist, you would not necessarily know that these are the same artists kind of going back and forth. Dear Millie here is yet another style of artwork that's being created. So his work is so varied, and that's really unusual for an artist to do. They usually have their set that they're comfortable within, and then they try and perfect that. And Sundak really ran the gamut. So this show is one that, again, it certainly has, we have a place for the kids who can dress up as wild things if they want to. Um, and But for an art uh, person, this is also a lot of fun. Um, Higgledy Piggledy Pop is about a little dog. And again, this is line drawing, which is again so different from where the wild things are and the way that appears. So it's just a, a fascinating kind of look into his work. Aaron, do you have summer camps here where the parents can bring them at a specific time during the day? We do programs where we do guided tours where we set them up so that we can take them through. It's so all they have to do is just give us a call or go on the website and we'll do tours for families or for large groups and bring them through. And we have a lot of fun. We have an activity center back here that's made up specifically for that purpose. It's really terrific. Sendak, of course, really wanted kids to be creative. He wanted them to be kids. He believed wholeheartedly that we should not uh, talk down to children. Um, he was one of the first first uh, authors, you know, where the wild things are is sort of a scary story in its nature. Um, and he said, kids have fears. Kids have, um, that they have uh, moments where they have anxiety. We can't just pat them on the head and send them on their way. We have to let them, you know, get that out. And so that sense of creativity was really important to them. So we have these, both the technological side where they can create on an iPad screen or they can go old school and create, you know, faces using um, buttons and rulers and pens. And let's see what kind of fun can come as a result of it and make their own items. And then we put them on display around the corner. It's a lot of fun and the kids have a great time. Come and enjoy a family outing at the Bremen on Sunday, June 28th at 2 p.m. with a guided tour, hands-on arts and crafts, and special workshops led by professional writers, illustrators, and artists. For more information, log on to thebremen.org.